Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got out of the shower and I feel like a dry lizard or some sort of reptile creature. The reason why I have not put anything on my skin yet, I am literally naked. My skin has no moisturizer, nothing. I am testing out the new Walida skin food experience or skin food menu. So if you are not familiar with Walida or skin food, their skin food is iconic. It has been around since the 1920s. I think it was 1926 it was um, created. And it's basically an all-round amazing product uh, for skin conditions. Eczema, really dry skin, cracked skin, irritated skin. If you're finding that your normal moisturizer just isn't enough, then something like skin food will really give it the boost that it needs. I had an issue with my elbow, like this part of my elbow a few years ago. There was something weird going on. It was cracked, it was dry, it was red. I was using oils and a lot of moisturizers and this was the only thing that worked. So the reason why skin food is so effective is because it supports the skin's protective barrier Lipids increase moisturization, resulting in a feeling of reduced skin tensions and itchiness. Extracts of pansy, chamomile, and calendula help to calm the skin. The texture of it, I'll show you. I'll go through each product that they have created um, that is part of the skin food range now. And we'll have a look at the different textures of each product and how they're slightly different. So I think I need to start out with my face because... It feels disgusting right now. I literally have nothing on it and I've just washed my face. So it's feeling really dry. So the first one I want to share with you is the new Skin Food Light. So basically this is like skin food, but it, I'm guessing, has a lighter texture. A lighter will lead a skin food for normal to dry skin. Skin Food Light brings immediate comfort to dry skin. The silk and lotion combines organic sunflower oil, calendula, pansy and chamomile provides the skin with instant moisture and protects from drying out. The light formulation helps support regeneration of the skin's protective barrier. Quickly absorbed, it is ideal for on the go and leaves the skin soft and feeling protected, suitable for your face or your body. So I'm going to jump right in. It has a really light smell. It's nothing, nothing too much going on there. And I just like to, with my moisturizers, I like to put them in between my hands and then pat it into the skin. Obviously it does smell a little bit like the original skin food being <laughs> similar ingredients. I look so shiny with this lighting. I've had a few people comment on my videos recently saying do you have really oily skin? Um, it's actually just my lighting. Unfortunately I do like to film in front of natural light when I can because it is best and it gives you guys a true indication of what a product looks like, but it's so overcast here today, I have to um, use my ring light. Okay, so I think that is really nice. It doesn't feel too thick for me. You know what? I'm actually just going to let that sit while we move on to the other products because then I can get a feel for how it's settled into my skin and if it's going to make me go oily or not. So let's just move on to the Walida Skin Food. So another thing I like to use skin food for is my hands and my nails. My cuticles get really dry at times and I hate having dry, rough feeling hands. So this is also a great on the go product for your bag just to touch up anything really like your lips, any little irritated areas but particularly your hands. A little bit goes a long way, so I'm just gonna pop some on my hands and show you the difference it makes. This stuff is pretty potent, so you do only need a little bit, especially if you're using it during the day, but it's one of the only things I find that really like creates that barrier. Look at my nails, like look at my, see my cuticles? But you can see it just gives your nails and your hands an instant boost. So I, I wouldn't use this all over my body. This is definitely more of like a spot treatment product for me personally. Um, great for a nighttime treatment for your hands, knees, elbows, 
to really let that soak in overnight as well when you can afford to have sort of more thicker or richer products on the skin. I'm going to go in with the lip balm now. So I'm just reading over the product info. So the Skin Food Lip Balm intensively nourishes and moisturizes dry chapped and cracked lips during cold or dry weather or before makeup application for a smooth even tone. It's got an essential oil blend of beeswax, pansy, chamomile, calendula to leave lips feeling soft and smooth. I have not used one of these lip balms in forever. I can't remember the last time I used one of these. So it's clear. Oh, that's really nice. Mmm, that's good. The consistency is actually quite thin and it's not sticky and it's not thick. It doesn't feel like it's going to leave that build up on your lips. You know when you use some lip products and they leave a build up and you end up with like gross sort of residue or something. This is really soft and smooth and it's definitely not sticky at all, which is great. And it just looks like a lip balm or a lip gloss. It's probably a little bit shinier than a lip balm. Uh, yeah, I really like that. Okay, I'm going in for the body butter now. This whipped butter melts onto the skin, leaving it soft and glowing. Perfect for all seasons and all over hydration. It's a vegan formula. It is rich in organic sunflower seed oil, shea and cocoa butters or cacao, however you like to say it, making your entire body glowing. So this also contains all of your staple skin food ingredients like your calendula, um, etc. But it's obviously got the addition of those butter ingredients to make the body butter. It's quite a decent size as well. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, that smells so yummy. So it's super thick. Let's see what the texture is like. Oh, yes, it's it's like a whipped, like a thick, almost set whipped cream. Might just try this on my arms. Oh, the smell is so good. Oh, that's nice. That's a lot thinner than I thought it would be. The consistency um, is really good, actually. I'm just going to give it a sec to see how it absorbs. Oh, the smell is incredible. Okay, going back to my face, that is really, that has absorbed really well. Wow, they've done such a good job to change the consistency from the standard to this because my skin's feeling really hydrated, but um, it doesn't feel oily. And I know that I am getting some reflection from the lighting here, but in person, um, my skin doesn't look oily at all. So just to give you a quick recap, the original skin food I would recommend for spot use only. Take it with you in your bag, use it for touch-ups. So that is just an all-rounder. That is a must-have in every skincare kit, in my opinion. Skin Food Light, you can use this on the hands and the body. So if you prefer a lighter um, finish with your moisturizer, then maybe go for this instead of the body butter. However, obviously, if you look at the size difference, you are going to get less product. This one's 75 mil, this one's 150. So it depends on how much moisturizer you want and where you intend on using it. I like this for my face and I will use that for my face. The lip balm is a hell yes for me. That feels so nice on my lips. And it's hard to find things that aren't sticky or too thick or, you know, it's just nice to get something that's a bit more balanced. So I really like that. Now, I also had a few of you when I did a little unboxing on Instagram of the Walida skin food menu, I had a few of you request to see what the skin food light would wear like underneath makeup. So I'm just going to quickly go and apply some foundation, just some light foundation and see how it applies over the top of the skin food light. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, you guys, so I just applied some makeup. I just have a little bit of foundation and some powder on. 
there was no issues with the light skin food light um, it's just like a normal moisturizer so it is quite hydrating but it's definitely not any oilier than any of the other moisturizers that I've used recently um, yeah so there's no issue with it at all it's just a moisturizer basically for your face and your body if you want as well so I am really happy to recommend their range I think it's great that they made some versatile products basing it off this amazing original skin food getting the benefits of all of that product into a few different areas for the body so I'd love to hear from you have you tried skin food what do you think of it have you tried any of the other new products from the range um, let me know down below but otherwise thank you so much again for watching and I will see you all in the next video bye bye